On a bright April morning in 2010, planet Earth prepared three astronauts for their first ever trip to another solar system. Unfortunately, that same morning, a very stupid caretaker named Trev forgot which button launched the rocket and which button cleaned the coffee machine. Trev ended up 40 billion miles away from home in a galaxy full of aliens. This is the story of... Spaceman Trev! Hey, computer. Please, call me Eric. Oh, okay. Eric, is there any nice planets around here? Well, as it happens, there is a planet right down below us now. It's an ocean planet. Great, I'll go and get me swimming costume. Wow, what a beautiful ocean. I think I might have a nice dip to cool down. I wonder if there's any aliens around here. There certainly doesn't seem to be. Hello. Hello, who are you? I'm Seth Alien. No way. Hello. Who are you? I'm Seth Alien. This is crazy. I didn't know aliens could ride surfboards. Hello. Huh? Who are you? I'm Seth Alien. Oh, that's mad. What do you do all day? That sounds like great fun! You can blow us out, Oh, fantastic! I'll see you later! That place was brilliant! I loved it! But I did get my spacesuit a little bit wet. I wonder where else there is that we could go. Hmm. What's that planet down there? Um, I don't have any data on that one, Captain. You might want to go and investigate. Oh, great! I will do. See you later. Oh, what a funny place. Look at all these trees. Ah! Where am I? Hello, this is Pam Pam. What's your name? I'm Spaceman Triv. Who's that scary animal? He's Giddy. Don't be scared of him. He's just our doggy. Ooh. Yeah, he's very nice. Have some magic fruit. Thank you. Delicious. It gives you superpowers. Well, that's lovely. But I have to get back to my spaceship. I think I left the iron on. Bye. Bye. That was a very nice planet. It's called Pinky Panky, you know. Oh, fantastic, Captain. It is. And you know what? They even gave me some magic fruit. Apparently, it's got superpowers or something. That's amazing, Captain. Yes, well, I'm still hungry, so I'll see you later. Hello there. Hello. Hello. What are you guys up to? Go oh, where we're fighting. Oh, that doesn't sound very nice. I've got something much nicer. Bangers and mash. My favourite. <laughs> well, I... Oh dear, I didn't realise you were that hungry. I best go and get myself something to eat. Bye. Oh, I'm still hungry. I didn't get to eat any bangers and mash. Well, Spaceman Trev, it turns out that there's a planet below, and the aliens on that planet like having spacemen for tea. Why don't you give that a try? I'll see what they're like. Are they friendly? If they like spacemen for tea, they must be friendly. Great! Hello, dear. Are you friendly aliens? No. 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 Oh. Right then. <coughs> I think I lost them. Blooming <coughs> 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 aliens! Eric, you stupid computer! They like having spacemen for tea, not having spacemen for tea! Oh, I apologize, Captain. I didn't realize that. Yes, well, that's what they meant! Stupid aliens! Stupid computer! Oh, 
Well, I'm very sorry, Captain. I'm not talking to you. I'm going somewhere else. I'm going to have a lie down here, away from that stupid computer. Hey, look at that bed. He looks nice. He looks tasty. Jum, 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 jum. Oh, that wasn't a very nice dream. I think I've got a headache. My head feels very funny. Um, according to my scans, Captain, you don't actually have the same head that you went down onto that planet with. What do you mean? Well, I think that magic fruit you ate on Pam Pam has, uh, given you a superpower. It turns out that if any part of your body gets chopped off, eaten, bitten, or dissolved in acid, it will magically regrow itself. That's amazing! I'm going for a walk! Oh no! A volcano! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Hello! Ah! Are you nice aliens? Yes! Have a chocolate mud shake. Is that yummy? Oh, I like that! That's super! Thank you very much! Bye! Bye! You know, some aliens are really very nice. They give me nice things to drink and stuff. Well, actually, Captain, there are a number of planets around here that have got aliens on that have never seen spacemen before. We don't even know what language they speak. Maybe you'd like to go and investigate. Oh, okay then. Thank you very much. You know, I'm beginning to quite like being an astronaut. It's good fun. I wonder if there's anything else out there that's fun. Are there fun aliens, maybe? Well, Captain, as it happens, there are in fact a number of alien species that enjoy playing games and having fun all day long. Maybe you should pay them a visit. Oh, great idea! Ooh, great dancing. I hear you guys like to play games. Yay! Cool. Well, I've got a fun game. Fetch. See if you can get that. We've got it. Oh, well done. See you later. Bye. Those aliens were the best aliens at ball games that I've ever seen. They were amazing. Very good, Captain. How about we go to another planet now? Something a bit different. Something a bit crazy. Okay, Captain. I'm picking up below a very special planet. It's got an unusual atmosphere that makes all your words appear in speech bubbles. Wonderful! Let's have a look at that one. That was great fun. I could see the words as I said them and everything. Very good, Captain. So, Eric, any more planets that we can go and have a look at? There is one more, Captain. We can go and have a look at it, and then I think it might be time for bed. Oh, this one's an interesting planet. I'm hungry. <gasps> Me too! Oh no! Are you going to eat me? Don't be silly. Yeah, get on the leaves. Leaves? What? We only eat trees. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. And so, Spaceman Trev continues his fantastic journey across the stars. But, where will he end up next? <laughs>